In this video, we're going to take a look at solving equations, finding out what number that variable is representing. However, sometimes some funny things happen as we try and solve for that variable and find out what it represents. Remember, that's our ultimate goal. What number does that variable represent? But sometimes as we do, the variable will suddenly subtract out. It's gone. It disappears completely. Well, a lot of people get really scared when this happens and says, oh, it must mean the answer is 0 or 19. If it subtracts out, it's not there. It can't equal a number. If it subtracts out, it means there are either infinite solutions which means any number will work in the equation and it will always be true or there is no solution which means there doesn't exist any number that when you plug it into the equation it works it gives us a true equation let's take a look at some funny problems like this this first example 2x plus 5 equals 2x minus 1 we need to start by moving the variables to one side so we can get rid of 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. But when we do, the 2x's subtract out completely. This does not mean there is 0 left. There is nothing left in far as the x's. On the left side, there is a 5. On the right side, there is a negative 1. Well, wait a minute. 5 equals negative 1. Does 5 equal negative 1? Well, obviously it doesn't. That doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. That means the original equation doesn't work. The original equation doesn't make sense, which means there is no solution. This doesn't make sense. It's not possible to solve this equation. There's no value that when you plug it in for the x, it will make sense that it'll work no solution let's try another one on the se second example we can start by distributing the 3 so we get 3x minus 9 equals 3x minus 9 and then again the variables on both sides so we'll subtract 3x from both to get it on one side but again a funny thing happens the x's subtract out to 0 completely and we're just left with negative 9 on one side and negative 9 on the other side. But does this make sense? Does negative 9 equal negative 9? Is negative 9 the same as negative 9? Well, yes, it is. It does make sense. And because this last equation makes sense, so does the original problem make sense regardless of what the variable is. This means there are infinite solutions. In other words, it doesn't matter what number you plug into the x. It will always come out as a true equation because it will always make sense because negative 9 always equals negative 9. This might feel kind of weird as we get started with it, so let's try a few more examples. I'm going to try and leave those on the screen for you. Let's see what happens when we solve these equations. If I can just barely get them in. There we go. Balancing through the equal sign on example 3, again, we have to distribute to get started. So we have 6x plus 2 equals 6x plus 3. And again, to get the variable on one side, we'll subtract 6x from both. However, when we do that, the 6x's are gone completely. We're left with 2 equals 3. Does 2 equal 3? No, that doesn't work. And because the variable's gone, we say there is no solution. The variable's gone, it doesn't make sense, there's no solution. Let's try another equation. 
This one's a little more involved, but again, we can start simplifying by distributing on the left side. So we have 4x plus 1 equals 4x plus 6. Still have the minus 5 at the end. Combining like terms, the 6 minus 5 is going to be 1, so we have 4x plus 1 equals 4x plus 6 minus 5 is 1. And again, to continue solving, we'll get the variable on one side by subtracting the 4x from both sides. And when we do again, we notice that's gone completely. We're left with 1 equals 1. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Because it makes sense, the equation always makes sense. We say there are infinite solutions. This equation will work regardless of what we pick for x, while the previous example will never work regardless of what you pick for x. These cases don't come up often, but when they do, we need to know that we have infinite solutions or no solutions.